Hello, it's Salimi. So if you have a Camry, I'm sure you experienced that before. Every morning you turn on the engine, you will hear rattling sound like this. So one of the reasons this will happen when the engine oil changing schedule is closed. And the other reason is the camshaft filter basket is clogged, which located here. So the main job of this filter basket to filter out the oil before it gets to camshaft solenoid, which one located here and the other one is here. So in this video, I will show you all the steps to take out this filter basket and clean it and also change the engine oil. So for the tools, I will be using common hand tools, ratchet and socket. I have two sizes here and for putting back together, we will need a torque wrench. And for cleaning camshaft filter basket, I will be using cut up cleaner or a choke cleaner. All right, let's start with removing engine cover. We have three tabs, one here, one here and the other one here. So for removing engine cover and taking a filter basket which is located here, we're gonna start with removing this vacuum hose and then disconnecting all these wire harnesses and then taking out the ignition coils. Then removing cable fasteners and then all these 10 millimeter bolts that holding engine cover. So even I removed all the cable fasteners but the cable still not moving. There is a one cable tie here so I'm gonna remove this one and it will make it free. So I removed all the wire harness connectors and also the ignition coils. Now I'm gonna remove all these 10 millimeter bolts and remove the engine cover. But there is also one thing you should be considering not forget. There is one wire harness connector for the other camshaft solenoid that we have to remove which located here. So now the cable is free but we cannot push it further. So we're gonna remove the 10 millimeter bolt and slide out the cover like this. Alright, all the bolts are removed, now we're gonna lift the cover. Most of the time the cover is stuck even though we removed the bolt, so we're gonna need a flat screwdriver to lift it up. And you have to be careful with that because the manufacturer made a specific places for lifting up. We can see it's here and here and here. So here we have a flat screwdriver and we're gonna lift it from here and also here. So because I had to slide out the cover, the camshaft sensors were in the way, so I had to remove them, and then we can slide it out. Alright, the cover is removed, the filter basket located here. So we're gonna have to remove this piece, which bolted on with 3 12mm and 3 10mm. Here is the camshaft cover, the filter located here. So we're gonna have to take it out with a flat screwdriver like this. Now here is the filter. So we have some oil residue here and resisting the oil flow. That's why when we were starting the engine it was making the rattling sound. So we're gonna clean all that and put it back again. For cleaning I'm gonna be using chalk cleaner or a carb cleaner. Alright, before putting the filter basket in, I'm gonna have to clean this as well because we still have some parts here too. Alright, now it's clean, we're gonna put it back. Alright, now it's all clean. If we look at here, the gasket is missing and it's left on the cover, so we're gonna have to remove it and put it here as well. So because I cleaned everything and now it's all dry, now I'm gonna apply oil again and then put it back so it doesn't run out dry. All right, now we are ready, we're gonna put it back. It should slide on like this without resisting. Now we're gonna put the plate and it's on 12 millimeter, following the other 12 millimeters. Now we're gonna put the 10 millimeters back and then hand tie them. Now we're gonna use the torque wrench and torque 10 millimeter bolts to 10 newton meter and 12 millimeter bolts 20 newton meters now i'm gonna fill these with oil again and then put the cover all right next i'm gonna put the gasket but first i'm gonna clean it and then put it back and the gasket in pretty good condition so i'm gonna use it again and not use any silicone or anything it's also very important to clean this where the gasket is sitting so it doesn't leak any oil in the future. We're gonna put all the ignition coils back and then all the wire harness connectors. 
All right, everything back together now. Now I'm gonna start the engine and see how much different we have with that rattling sound. And then I will change the engine oil and start it again. But first I wanna start it with the same engine oil and see how much different we have with cleaning that filter. So cleaning this filter made a huge difference but overall engine oil quality is a big factor for this. Now I'm going to put the engine cover back and we are done here. Next we're going to change the engine oil and the filter. Let's remove the filter and change the cartridge. Let's put the drain plug back and also the new filter and now let's put the new oil. Alright let's start the engine again with the new engine oil and also clean the camshaft filter basket. But overall cleaning that filter made a huge difference between the first engine startup and also the second one because it was the same engine oil. So the only difference was the filter looking like this and now it looks like this. Another tip I can give you guys if you pull it the filter and it was looking like this after cleaning it I recommend you to remove both camshaft solenoids and clean them with the same carb cleaner just in case if some particles pass through the filter and stuck in the solenoids. You can also test them with a 12 volt battery like this. I also have a detailed video about this. Video link will be in the video description box below. So if you have a Camry, make sure to clean that filter. It might save your engine. I will make sure to put all the products and the tools in the video description box below. So if you found this video useful, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.